In today's video, Queen Ant Search How to find a Queen Ant and start your colony Formica Lasius and Tetramorium Queen Ant Season 2020 Right after the intro Hello and welcome to another Ants Vienna video everybody! If you are new to the channel, here we cover all aspects of the ant keeping hobby. However, the most important asset to get your own ant colony started is a queen ant. About a month ago, I made a video on searching and catching queen ants with a special focus on Kapanoto species queens. Since you guys like that a lot and many ant species have their nuptial flight season right now, I decided to make another outdoor video on how to catch a queen ant. However, this time around we'll be focusing on queens of the species Formica, Lasius and Tetramorium. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit all notifications on that bell icon so you don't miss any nuptial flight updates. And if you are a subscriber, then I won't keep you waiting any longer. As always, be kind enough to smash that thumbs up button to let me and the YouTube algorithm know you like my video and share it with your friends. As you can see, today is another sunny day here in Vienna, Austria. The thermometer is at 33 degrees Celsius and it is quite humid since it rained yesterday. These are almost perfect conditions to find queens, so it would be a shame for us not to take a walk and have a look. While I am walking, Quick disclaimer to newcomers, if you want to know more about the ant life cycle, you should have a look at this video. There, I also explain how queen ants are born, which essentially marks the start of every queen ant season. Ok, now do you remember how I was looking for Campanotus queen ants last time? Yes, I am talking about that stop, look around making a few steps only to stop again, look again and so on. That technique is specifically good for searching Campanotus queen ants, but forget about it when looking for other species. I will now let you know the methods that worked best for me in order to track queens of different species. Let's start with Formica queens. They are pretty agile for queen ants, have good vision and are always on the go. So, the best way to get your hands on a Formica queen ant is to keep walking straight and looking a few meters ahead of you, since the moment a Formica queen spots you or your shadow, she is going to start running even faster than she normally does. Whoa! Speaking of Formica, this is what I meant with fast. She's pulling no stops here, guys. Looks like some kind of Serviformica species. Got to catch her quickly. There you have her. I was actually so excited that I forgot to record her in between. So, this footage is from the next day. She indeed turned out as a Formica cunicularia queen, which is a fully clothed species, and she already laid a couple of eggs. A beautiful sample of a queen ant. She is also the one in this picture. I like how she looks that much that I'm probably going to use that pic as a thumbnail. Okay, back to our walk now. 
Before you go thinking, I am drunk, walking like this, let me tell you that that's another search technique. One I use to spot Tetramorium and Lasius Quinans. For them, I duck once every couple of steps to have a better look on the ground. Lasius and Tetramorium are both smaller than Formica and way smaller than Campanotus Queens. So, to have a better chance to spot them, you have to look closely and consistently on the ground, since they also move slower than other species. Moving slower makes them easier to catch but harder to notice, at least in my opinion. And look what we got here! This is roughly 50 meters away from where I found the Serviformica queen. That's a Tetramorium quinant, guys! While she is carefully looking for a home, I am somehow trying to catch her with that file. But it's hard with one hand, so give me a minute. Here we go, a beautiful Tetramorium quinant. I'm having some focusing issues in that bright sunlight though. Let me get her some water. When Tetra move so nervously, they are probably dehydrated. Well, what shall I say to these guys? This is another queen. One that wasn't so lucky to get shade or water in time. Poor thing. Let's see if there are more around here. Just gonna walk that path for a bit. So, when I take walks looking for quinans, I use a combination of these search techniques that I am now sharing with you. And while walking like this may look a bit odd, I don't really mind what other people think of me. Actually, I was lately discussing this with someone from our NCVNA Discord server. By the way, feel free to join, I will pack a link in the video's description. So, he was telling me that in case he sees a quinant on the ground in front of him, he would quit picking it up if somebody sees him. Can you believe that? While I can understand his reasoning, I myself don't hesitate picking up queens, even if that means kneeing in front of a few dozen people in the town center. I've already done this twice, in fact. I always enjoy the different reactions in people's faces. <laughs> okay. We have to cut out that idle chat for now because I found another Quinant. Looks like exactly like the last one. That would make this foraging beauty a Tetramorium Queen too. And she is one indeed. Finally, since that was my lucky day, I decided to take another stroll in the evening as well. And I am happy I did, because otherwise I wouldn't have come across her. You don't get to see that every day. She just landed and is trying to shed her wings. Can you guess what species this queen belongs to? Let me give you a little hint. She is a parasitic quinant. Contrary to fully or semi-claustral queens, parasitic ones try to take over an existing ant colony. Depending on the species, the parasitic queen will infiltrate the host colony by adjusting to their smell, which they usually gain by killing a worker ant. After that, they either try to kill the host colony's queen directly or even convince 
the workers to kill their original queen themselves. Only after the parasite has taken over will she start laying eggs of her own. So, did you guess the species by now? If not, I've got another hint for you. She belongs to the genus Lasius. Okay, time to spill it. Three, two, one. She's a Lasius Ombratus queen. I've been looking and trying to catch a parasitic quinant for a while now. So, catching her too after that successful queen ant hunting day truly boosted my spirit. What happened after I caught her, you ask? That you will see in another video. I hope you enjoyed our queen ant hunting tour today. Let me know with a thumbs up if you did and share the video with your friends. Have you found and or caught any queens this queen ant season? Let me know in the comments. So just a quick recap that may help you out. Depending on what species is currently having its nuptial flight, you need to adjust the way you search for queen ants. For Campanotus, take a few steps, make a stop, look around you and repeat. For Formica, keep walking straight and look ahead because they are good runners. And finally, for Lasius and Tetramorium Quinans, you want to spend a few seconds looking at the same spot closely in order to spot them. The main Quinan season 2020 is now a thing and queens of various species are swarming everywhere. I hope my tips I share with you in this video help you catch your first or some more quinans. And remember, if you need help in identifying the quinant you just caught, feel free to join our Discord. We gladly help each other out both in species identification and ant care tips. Okay, that was it for today fellow ant enthusiasts. Thank you for watching and, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!